What's up guys? So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Lego guy jump and do a backflip. So let's get right into it. So here's my camera. I'm using an iPhone SE and you can use a tripod or make your own little rig out of Legos to keep the camera still. And for a remote button, you can either just press the um, capture button on the app or you can use just like headphones and use the volume button to press it after clicking so anyway and um i'm using stop motion studio and uh, obviously we need good lighting so i'm using these two lamps a desk lamp and then just a regular lamp and i'm putting uh wax paper over the top of it to even out the light everywhere and um, always remember to wear black because black helps reduce the light flicker of the uh, Legos because Legos are really reflective. So one more thing. Before you start your video, a couple things you're going to need is a tall Lego brick or just a couple bricks stacked on top of each other and then some sticky tack or clay to put on, on the brick to hold the Lego guy up. The app I use for Stop Motion is Stop Motion Studio. And then click on New Movie. And then click on the camera button up there. And now, before we start anything, we need to make sure the onion skin is on. So it's that thing right there. The onion skin just makes the Lego guy transparent so you can see where he was if you move him. So I'm going to do the first couple photos up here just to show you what to do. So in between each picture with the Lego piece that holds the Lego guy up, you want to take one blank photo. So afterwards, when you mask out the Lego piece, it's going to use the blank photo to erase him. After we take our blank photo, we put the Lego guy back in with the Lego brick. And we're going to use that blank photo to... Um, uh, erase the Lego brick using the picture that didn't have anything in it. So, Okay, so now it's time to mask out the brick that held the Lego guy up. So just scroll over to uh, the photo. And we're going to use the photo before the photo we want to mask out. And we're going to use the photo, the previous photo, to put into this photo where we erase. So you can change the size of the eraser. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick. If you ever mess up like this, you can press the rounded back arrow button and it'll take it away. And then after you do this one, you're going to have to do it for every single photo. 
So this is what it looks like in the end, after everything's done.